Hello and welcome everybody to this video. Lots of player play chess tournaments. But how does the rating change is unknown to many. K factor is the development coefficient factor and plays a big role in the rating change of a chess player. So till the end of the video, you will know what exactly is K factor and how does it impact your chess. So without wasting any further time, let's get started. Hi, my name is Karan Parikh and I have been playing chess since 7 years and I will be your guide for this video. K, as I told you, is the development coefficient factor. Now in layman terms, if I wanted to explain what is K, then more the K value, more will be the rating change after the result of a particular game. Okay, firstly, let's see the type of K values. So according to the FIDE official, there are three official K values. One is 10, K20 and K40. Now, for example, your K value is 40 and you play a higher rated opponent and you win the game. And let's say you get 36 points. Now, if your K was 20 and you played the same opponent and won the game, then you won't get 36 points, but you will get 18 points because your K value is half. So your ELO gain will also be half. And if your K value was 10, then you would have gotten just 9 points. So this is how roughly K value works and it is the reverse as well. If you had lost against a lower rated opponent, then you would have minus 36, minus 18 and minus 9 for K 40, 20 and 10. Okay, so coming up to the point, this was roughly how the K value works. But how do we know what is the K value for yourself, correct? So there are three types, K10, K20 and K40. So according to FIDE, these are the following points which states that your K is 40 points for a player new to the rating list until they have completed events with at least 30 games. So do not go on to the latter part, but the first sentence first part says that the K will be 40 for a new player who joins the rating list. Let's say you do not have a FIDE rating and you just got a FIDE rating in the following tournament. Then in the next tournament your K will remain 40 and in that tournament as well it was 40. Now the latter part we will see uh, after some time. The second point says that your K will be 20 for your rating above 2300 and below 2400. So if your rating is between this range then your K factor will be 20. And the third point says the K will be 10 once a player's published rating has reached 2400 and remains at the level subsequently, even if the rating drops below 2400. So what does this statement mean? Of course, first, uh, uh, first part of the statement says that a K will be 10 for about 2400. The latter part says that if you cross 2400 once, and let's say you drop down back to 2300, then also your K will remain 10. So that is what this third point states. Now the fourth point which is one of the most important points in today's video is that the K factor remains 40 for all players until the end of the year of their 18th birthday. As long as the rating remains under 2300. After crossing 18 years, the K factor becomes 20. So to explain the statement, let's say I am turning 18 the next year on 2nd of January. So till I am 18, let's say the next entire year because next year is my birthday, 18th birthday. So till the next entire year, my K factor will remain 40. And after that year, that is 2026, my K factor will become 20. Also, it has told that as long as their rating remains below 2300. That means the second point had stated that the K factor will be 20 for a rating above 2300 and below 2400. So here they say that your K factor will be 40, not 20, 40 even if your rating is under 2300. 
correct so about 2300 here k will become 20 and about 2400 it becomes 10 so until you reach 2300 your k remains 40 also to note another definition of k factor is the maximum amount of elo a player can gain by winning a game so let's say your k factor is 40 and you beat a very very high rated opponent let's say 700 points gap then at max you can get 40 elo points above that you cannot get and let's say you lose to a very lower rated that is below let's say 700 gap then you can lose at most 40 points similarly with 20 and 10 if your k factor is 10 then at most you can uh, you can gain 10 points and at least means at most you can lose 10 points if you lose to a lower rated player so this was the entire gist of what was k factor i hope that i was able to educate you in some way and you must have learned something or the other after seeing this video do not forget to like the video subscribe to the channel chess craze and pour your comments down in the comment section till then meet you in the next video Stay safe, play chess and keep learning. Bye. Bye.